Today I'm going to show you how to do a Instagram story uh, 9 by 16 ratio with Final Cut Pro. So you want to create a new project and what you want to do is do a custom size. Let's give it a name. And you're going to basically just flip it over from 1920 1080 to 1080 times 1920. That's it. You'll have a vertical canvas. So now what I'm going to do here is add an audio track. So this is a uh, like a retro 80s um, CTA swipe up. I want to give it like an 80s retro new wave. Uh, you can buy audio tracks and background video from Envato. So this is uh, from Video Hive. <coughs> and this is a um, 16 by 9. So what I want to do is I want to scale it up, fill up all the black under properties, that particular layer. I fill it up, and as you can see, it fills up. There and that's my, my little moving background. I want to add some um, some grit to it. So this is an overlay. Try and give it some um, distortion. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and you want to keep your videos under fifteen seconds. Maybe I would say eight to twelve seconds is probably best. So this is the product. Colorful uh, NATO watch straps trying to promote it again you want to resize and position it uh, this is a transparent PNG so you could in, um, import various file types and video so now I'm going to add some uh, a CTA a call to action which is a uh, some text body copy and this is one I like I'm gonna give it a coupon code I'm also going to probably reduce the opacity on the background so the text stands out a little more resize my elements I want to add a swipe up button and with Final Cut you can stack different elements photos videos you can have multiple um, layers as you can see here <clears throat> I'm adding a little swipe up button and I think before I maybe I do that I'll, I'll add a chevron <coughs> a chevron wipe so it directs the the user to do something kind of subliminally um, persuade him to do something and, and a chevron wipe up is good because it's it's guiding them so that's a chevron wipe and you can get these transitions um, backgrounds from sites like Envato or Video Hive <coughs> excuse me transitions you can get like a bunch of transitions for like 30 bucks so I'm going to add a bounce to that that swipe up button and um, We'll watch the final video and you'll see how it all kind of comes together you want to keep your video under 15 seconds um, ideally 10 seconds okay let's do the finishing touches and let's watch the video So this is another example. I'm going to breeze this through real quick. I do watch photography and I'm going to make a story that kind of excites the user to check the feed out. Um, I call this sort of like a cinematic uh, reveal of a product. A little, a little uh, glimpse here and there and I'm going to do three shots just to slowly pique their interest with some um, uh, rising momentum in terms of music. And transitions so let's just kind of run through this real quick I'm gonna look for the right and this is shot with it in a light box and a $20 uh, record player kind of rotates the the watch but you can see the final product it's very uh, cinematic kind of like do a quick uh, swish transition I'll try different ones see which one works so let me try this one last wipe, um, see how that works. Oh, I like that. So you, you want to do like transitions that kind of draw the user's eyes toward a certain direction um, to keep them interested. And this is a you know, 9 by 16, I'm sorry, 16 by 9 footage and resizing it for vertical could be a challenge. So you got to deal with a lot of uh, white space. So here I'm going to add some glitches. You know, glitches is pretty popular right now. People like to have some distortion. 
I'm gonna kind of buzz in, buzz out, you know, slice that video into three pieces and the middle piece kind of zoom out. So again, white space is something you gotta deal with. I'm gonna add my title. Um, find one that fills in, in, in the black area. So the direction of, of the movement kind of, uh, the eyes follow the, the movement of the, uh, of the motion. <clears throat> Making these type of videos isn't cheap. I mean, I get people that that offer me twenty dollars to make a video like this, and I said, you know, no way. <laughs> you know, licensing the audio tracks twenty bucks, buying the different transitions and the effects and the stock footage, and the time to make the videos. <clears throat> There's simply no way. I mean, you can do Instagram stories with a smartphone app, but you're not gonna get the level of polish that you will with with a. a professional video motion system motion app like Final Cut motion 5 or Adobe Premiere and After Effects you won't you won't um, these types of uh, stories are pretty engaging um, and you know, if you want to keep up with the Instagram game you gotta up your content quality and um, so I hope you enjoy this so let's watch the video and see the final product <laughs> 